story reader, problem solver, board writer, homework setter, playground whistler, register taker. I don't know, it's beyond my ken. Good morning, Year 5. This week, we are going to be focusing on poetry. And today's learning intention is to recognise the features of kenning poems. So hopefully, you will know that a kenning can consist of either noun-noun phrases or noun-verb phrases. To understand that kennings do not name the theme of the poem, to use the language of the poem to work out the theme, and to understand that kennings are understood best when they are read aloud. This is what we hope that you will know by the end of this session. So there are lots of different types of poetry. There's narrative poetry, kennings, limericks, haku, sonnet, acrostic, and many more. But today we're going to be focusing on kennings, kenning poems. So what is a kenning? Kennings are like riddles. They describe something without ever saying what it is. So I'm going to read these phrases out loud and I want you to tell me, well you can't tell me because I'm not on here, but I'd like you to think to yourself, what could they be describing? Lip licking, chin dripping, flake holding, tongue freezing, cone filling, sauce swirling. Did you get it? Ice cream. How about these? Tail wagger. Ball catcher, door scratcher, cat chaser, sofa hogger, face licker. What could they be about? Did you get it? It's a dog. So what did you notice about the poems? Each line of the poem is made of a two word phrase. Here, on the right hand side, the phrases are made up of a noun plus a verb, and the verb usually ends in ing, lip licking, chin dripping. And the words are joined by a hyphen. On the left hand side, the phrases are made up of a noun and another noun. And this is done by adding er, er to the second noun, tail wagger. Face liquor. Did you know that kennings came into our language via the Anglo Saxon and Norse cultures? These people came from what is now Scandinavia and Northern Germany. And I would hope that you would know a bit more about them as well from our work in topic. The word kenning derives from the old Norse word kenna eat biao which I probably have said incorrectly, but it means to express a thing in terms of another. The two word format in Kenning poems relates to the old Norse tradition of naming things like weapons, which we have heard of before, skull splitter or blood taker. That's where it comes from in a Kenning poem. So we even use them in everyday language. How do we describe a very tall building? Skyscraper. And there's some alliteration, which is another poetic device also found in Kenning poems. A really sad film or story is often called a tearjerker. Let's have a go. So how can we write a Kenning? First, we need to choose a theme. It doesn't have to be gory like the Vikings. The cat. Then we brainstorm lots of words or phrases associated with that theme. Mice, drinks milk, nuzzle, fur, purr, sleeps a lot, stalk, night, hunter, and lots more. So then how can we write a kenning using these words? To start the kenning, we could try and make a noun plus noun phrase or a noun plus verb phrase using the words that we've come up with. Could be nose nuzzler or ear scratcher or nose nuzzling and ear scratcher night stalking or night stalker lick or fur licking 
or fur liquor. Okay. Finally, we put them together in our two word phrases, but we can't forget the hyphens. So mouse hunter, milk drinker, night stalker, fur liquor, ankle rubber, dog hater, nose nuzzler, ear scratcher, loud purrer. So we could write a poet, a, a Kenning poem about all sorts of things. So here are a few ideas. Football, mums or dads, car, pets, teachers, pizza, winter, lockdown. I would like you to pick something to write your own Kenning about. You could even write one about you. So what have we learned about Kennings? Kennings are like riddles. They describe a thing, but don't tell you its name. They usually have only two words, a noun plus a noun or a noun plus a verb. Poetic devices like alliteration can be used. And they're great when you read them out loud so you can imagine the thing being described. So it's over to you. I'd like you to have a go at writing your own Kenning. Don't forget to upload it onto your class Padlet page. Good luck, everybody.